Alright guys, this video is intended to go through 40 ATP knowledge test questions pretty quickly in about 8 minutes. Unlike the actual test, which is multiple choice, I've just provided the correct answers. I've stuck in subtle audio cues in between questions and answers so that you can listen to this while driving or hiking. If it helps you, please give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studying. If an engine failure occurs in a turbojet aircraft after V1, you should continue the takeoff. Why do some airplanes equipped with inboard outboard ailerons use the outboards for slow flight only? Aerodynamic loads on the outboard ailerons tend to twist the wingtips at high speeds. The primary purpose of high lift devices is to increase the lift at low speeds. You decided to deploy leading edge slats at low speed and high angle of attack. The purpose of slats is to delay airflow separation on the upper part of the wing. At what speed, with reference to LD max, does maximum rate of climb for a jet airplane occur? A speed greater than that for LD max. How should reverse thrust propellers be used during landing for maximum effectiveness in stopping? Use maximum reverse power as soon as possible after touchdown. What should the de-ice anti-ice fluid temperature be during the last step of a two-phase process? Cold. What happens to stall speed as the aircraft gains altitude? Increases. An airplane stall warning device must sense angle of attack. Weight, bank angle, airspeed, and load factor have no effect on the stall angle of attack. The pitching down of the nose of an airplane during extension of Fowler flaps is normal if the elevator is not used to compensate. The lift coefficient must be maximum at the airplane stall speed. Propeller-driven airplanes can develop more lift at slower air speeds with power on because the propellers create greater dynamic overwing forces downstream. Upon landing, the thrust reversers should be deployed as soon as the nose wheel is in firm contact with the runway. At the aft CG limit, the horizontal stabilizer and elevator must develop less downforce to balance the decreased forward loading. Shock-induced separation of airflow occurring symmetrically near the wing root in an airplane is hazardous because the center of pressure moves aft. You are rolling on takeoff in a 14 CFR Part 25 certified jet and see an engine oil pressure caution light after passing V1. You should continue the takeoff as briefed and handle the light as an in-flight emergency. In an area of low pressure, aircraft performance decreases because less dense air reduces lift. What is the effect on an airplane when its CG is aft of the rear CG limit? The airplane will be unstable about the lateral axis. Vortex generators are designed to delay boundary layer separation. How does the minimum landing distance increase if the airplane landing weight were increased 10%? 10%. At what speed does drag divergence occur relative to the critical Mach number? 5 to 10% higher. A bank angle of 15 degrees will increase induced drag by 7%.
A bank angle of 45 degrees will increase induced drag by 100%. A bank angle of 60 degrees will increase induced drag by 300%. When climbing above the tropopause, the specific fuel consumption of a turbojet will begin to increase much above the tropopause. The increase in specific range with altitude can be attributed to three factors. One of those is an increase in altitude in the troposphere results in lower inlet air temperature. Since some airplane surfaces produce different local flow velocities, an airplane can experience compressibility effects at flight speeds well below the speed of sound. The Mach number which produces a sharp change in the drag coefficient is termed the force divergence Mach number. For an airplane with a relatively high thrust to weight ratio, a 10% increase in takeoff gross weight would result in a takeoff distance increase of approximately 21%. A buzz felt in the flight controls in cruise flight might be an indication of drag rise buffet. A rule of thumb states that a 1,000 foot increase in density altitude for a turbojet with a high thrust to weight ratio will cause a takeoff distance increase of 7%. Friction braking becomes effective at 70 to 80% of touchdown speed. If an engine's thrust line is below the center of gravity, it is destabilizing. If an engine's thrust line is above the center of gravity, it is stabilizing. Swept wings increase the force divergence number. The specific range for a turbojet at 40,000 feet is approximately 150% greater than sea level. The purpose of diluting ethylene glycol deicing fluid with water in non-precipitation conditions is to decrease the freeze point. Snow on top of deicing or anti-icing fluids must be considered as adhering to the aircraft. Freezing point depressant fluids are highly soluble in water, however, ice is slow to absorb it and slow to melt when in contact with it. 